All right. We are going to build an app home lightning page. Whoa, what does that mean? App home lightning page. Basically, we are going to create a page for a lightning app. So it's a totally customized page where you can place on any of the Salesforce app. So let's head to our Trailhead Playground. So for example, we are on the sales app here, right? And you can see we have um, home, opportunities, leads, tasks, and so on, all these menus. Now we can add a new page and put it on the, on the top after home. We can do that. Or we can also make a new page for the marketing app. So now we have home, chatter, campaigns, right? Now you want to make a new page for the marketing app and put whatever you want on the page, whatever is needed for your team, for your organization. Same thing with any other apps you see here, the, the, the community app, the service app, and so on. You can view all and see all the available apps or you can create a brand new app yourself. All right, so on this particular module, we are going to focus on creating a brand new page, design it for a particular app. And for this example, we are going to make one for our sales app here. So our page will work both on the Salesforce mobile app, also on the desktop version, which is on your computer. All right, so let's move on. We are going to go through the steps here, create an app page. So you can follow the steps on your own or you can watch my video on one screen here and follow um, along on another screen if you have two computer screens. All right, let's go. So first off, I'm going to go to the app builder and we are going to create an app page um, select two regions and name the lightning page top accounts and opportunities, All right? I'm going to copy that. So to do that, we are going to go to the setup gear icon here. And then lightning app builder. Lightning app builder, you can search it from there. And then we are going to create a new page, a new app page previously we create a record page right now we are going to create a new app page so next is an app page the name the label would be top accounts and opportunities and i'm going to hit next so what kind of layout do we want to choose let's follow along we want to choose the two regions template okay two regions so the two regions is this one here so it's just a side by side equally divided there. So finish. There we have it. I'm going to close this and we are going to first um, put the accounts here, the top accounts and then the opportunities here. So following the instructions, we are going to use a list view for the account. Okay. So I'm going to go and search my list view component, list view here, drag it here. And then on the right side, you can choose, um, configure the component. What object we want the account object, the account object, what filter we want the platinum and gold SLA. So, so SLA stands for surface level agreement customers. And then the number of records to display, we want to display five. And then what else do we need to do? Uh, and that's it, right? So we're gonna do recent items next on the next one. So for this, we are done. I'm gonna hit save. And then we are going to add recent, is it recent items, right? Recent items, yes. And then we are going to opportunity object and then we are going to add uh, these actions, log a call, new account, new opportunity. All right, so recent items, boom. 
um, do we what label do we want to use here let's see well I'm just gonna say recent opportunities okay because it doesn't say what to put there so recent opportunities the object would be an opportunity object opportunity object here move it to the right okay number of records to display it doesn't say well according to this three so we're gonna keep it three and yeah I'm just I'm just seeing what label they're using there but that's this one so that's okay it doesn't really matter so in the properties pane recent items we've we've done that oh we want to bring uh, in the properties pane click page and then select and then we want to add these actions okay if I go back here okay so back here we are going to click the page so back to the page and then actions we want to add a few actions there we want log a call, all right? And then we also want new account and new opportunity. New account and also new opportunity there. Okay, so those are the actions that can be done from here. Okay, from the toolbar, change the view to tablet landscape and then save and not yet. So the view tab is on the top here tablet landscape so we want to take a look what is going to look like on a tablet like an ipad so this is how it's going to look like okay which is what we want and then i'm going to hit save and not um we won't activate it yet okay so that's safe already so let's see what's next all right now we are going to add your app page to lightning experience and the salesforce mobile app now we are going to activate so on the activation we are going to choose for system administrator only for now all right and then we also want to use the icon to the blue lightning bolt icon okay and then we're going to keep the app name what else okay let's let's uh, start I'm going to hit activation here. All right, so we're going to keep that um, for sysadmin only. I'm going to change this to the lightning bolt icon, this guy. And then, all right, let's go back to our trail. Now, lightning experience uh, tab, and then we are going to select the sales app. Okay, so lightning experience. We are going to add the sales app here to here okay so top accounts and opportunities you can move it around where do you want this new page to appear so right now it's after home so if i go back here it will be after home in between home and opportunities because that is what we choose right and this is what our trailhead playground or trailhead wants to do all right now Let's move on. Click the mobile navigation tab and then add, add page to app. So we, we want to add this page to the mobile navigation as well. All right. So, but we want to add this onto the top, not under the smart search item. But where do we want it on? Just under today. So I'm going to move it up a bit. I'm going to click on this and drag under today. Boom. Okay. Now you move it there and now we are done all right so i'm gonna hit save we are done now and save so now if i refresh my page we should have a new page that we just designed in between home and opportunities okay i'm gonna refresh yep sometimes it takes a few seconds after you activate so let's do it one more time there we go. So if you don't see it right away, don't be concerned. Wait five seconds or 30 seconds, then load it. Now, if I click here, there we have it. We have the five top accounts 
and the recent opportunities we only have one because we just click um, or create this one opportunity recently so recently that's why it's just showing this one all right so that's how you create a new custom app page you can do so for any app for a marketing app community app or any app you can see or you can create a, a whole new app and add pages there as well make sense right so that's pretty straightforward all right let's go you can also test your app on a mobile app but um i'm going to skip this part but but feel free to open your playground on your mobile phone and check it out it will look exactly like like you're seeing on here okay let's move on we're gonna do our hands-on challenge so we're gonna create a new lightning app page which is my data i'm gonna copy this and it's going to be a one region template okay and then recent items let's do it one by one okay one step at a time so we're not overwhelmed when learning Salesforce, you do it one step at a time. So I'm going to go back. We're done with that um, first example. Now we are going to do the challenge. So I'm going to hit new lightning app page. So it's going to be an app page. Next. My data is the label. Next. It will be one region. And then we are going to add recent items. Okay. And on the recent items, we are going to add account, contact, and lead. All right, so one region. So it's super simple, just one wide region there. And I'm going to drag recent items. You can search the component you want to use. And also, if you want to go with some fancy components, you want to see what's available, you can get more on App Exchange. Or if you feel like developing your own you can create your own lightning components and it make it available here that would be awesome right we're going to play with that later on on other modules so recent items i'm going to put the label recent items right and then we are going to select the the objects which is account and then contact and then lead this is alphabetically sorted so lead and hit okay number of records to display let's see how many records do we want so activate the app it doesn't say so we're going to keep three and then activate for all users add the app to the mobile navigation menu well that's pretty simple so the challenge is pretty simple and easy i'm going to save that and I'm going to activate for all users. Okay, activate for all users. And we are going to add that to the mobile navigation only. Nothing else. So where? We don't want, we don't know where, right? So let's just, you know, move it. That, does it say where? Uh, it doesn't say where. Let's move it all the way to the top. Boom. My data. Even all the way to the top there. Save and save so as you see before when we just activate it it doesn't show right away right on here so i'm going to wait like five seconds before i hit and check the challenge here like one two three four bada bing bada boom oops <laughs> wrong button dude we're not going to launch it we're going to check bada bing bada boom i like hitting the launch button you know like spacex three two one launch <laughs> boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it.
don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom Thank <laughs> you.